Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 44, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been doing the slow grind up Mount Woe, taking a little bit longer than usual. Although some of that's my own fault. I've been spending some time looting that, um, for the sake of timeliness of the playthrough, I probably shouldn't have been doing, but I'm going to need the money because I made a couple of poor decisions in buying equipment that was going to be soon replaced. <laughs> Sorry, sign of strangers there. And um, the other thing is I realize I've been looking at the wrong number on the stats. So Chrono is going to end up leveling up to 40 by the time we finish this boss. That means I got two options. If I want to get Specchio and the special gift he gives you at the uh, level 30 to 39 form, I need to backtrack right now, head back to the end of time. Uh, go whoop up on them, and then come back here and do this. That's going to eat up a lot of time in this episode. So, as much as I would love to show that on camera, and especially get the tabs that you get from uh, beating him and some of the other bonus goodies, I this is where I would recommend to you on your playthrough to go through and beat him at each level, like I've been doing up till now. And uh, for the sake of timeliness, we'll just... Uh, we're going to have to call this one a wash, which sucks, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So let us try to finish up Mount Wobegone. We're almost done here. We've got a time hat. No bad guys, surprisingly enough. A high ether. And now... Hmm. So this is the prison that holds the Guru of Life. Chrono, look! Oh shoot, I didn't want Ayla for this. I forgot to swap her out. Doggone it. Short term memory something or other. Alright, we got this guy to deal with. <laughs> and he leads out with the quick hits. No pun intended. Yeah, he does a lot of fire and shadow damage. So if you're worried about... Uh, Alright, what's a uh, bubble burst on enemy falcon strike? Yeah, let's knock out these hands. And do the frog squash. Because we want to get those hands out of the way quick. With a quickness. Especially since... uh. The right hand there does some healing. Ooh, speaking of healing, I probably should have done uh, had Frog do a quick uh, heal of everybody before that next round went in. All right, I gotta remember. Let those two do their thing. Let Frog heal. And just keep up that. Oh, good. They're gone. All right. He's going to use his next turn to resurrect the hands. So that means we can do a Thunder Chomp and he can do a heal to everybody. Not as much as I'd like, but uh, I think that's what he's going to be dedicated to the next couple of rounds is just uh, trying to... St oh, that's not going to stay ahead of the damage. All right, so we'll let her do Slurp Kiss on everybody. Let him do a Luminaire. Because that should help... Um... All right, that trips me out every time. All right, that gets everybody close enough to full health that we can go back to the original plan. Why am I doing the double text? I should be doing that. <laughs> Forget that. All right. Combo. Luminaire. Combo. What, what do you got? Bubble Burst. Sure. Let's do Bubble Burst. Oh, they probably should have them do their best single tech instead of the dual tech. I don't think that's going to do enough to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Let me let him finish resurrecting his hands and I can kill them all with Luminaire. <laughs> and drop a frog squash. And a dino tail. Now that his hands are a little bit weaker, I can stay ahead of the damage output. Oh, that only did one. Oh, that's right. I forget. Frog Squash is one of those weird ones that it does damage based on... Oh, same with Dino Tail? Uh, curse my short-term memory, something or other. Alright, Aerial Strike then. And Tail Spin. Oh, or... Yeah, let me charm a speed tab out of him. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna die now that I finally hit charm. Yep. <laughs> I totally forgot to charm that out of him and that's what I get. Oh well. Fine. Fine. 3,000 XP, 30 tech points, 3,000 gold, Chrono's level increased, wah wah wah. And who is this? It's Melchior! Old man Melchior! Indeed I am none other. But how do you know my name? I do not believe we've met. More pressingly, what of the queen in the Ocean Palace? Do you know what has happened? I see. The queen's mind is already eroded to that extent. It seems the more energy the mammon machine absorbs, the further the queen descends into madness. The immortal Lavos is overtaking her soul from within his slumber beneath the waves. We must flee. The seal is broken. It will bring down the mountain. Come, make haste. <laughs> yes, please, before the mountain falls on us. The, the mountain of woe. Mama, the mountain's falling. Aww. Are we going to run down the chain real quick? Funny how it kind of tugs itself out and then drops into the ocean. Well, that didn't sound good. Lava sleeps deep underground, consuming the energy of this planet. Brought so near, the mamma machine could very well awaken him. Uh -oh. We must hurry before it's too late. Lady Shala is here. What? Shala? Is Lord Janus with her? Yes, there he is. Lady Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Do not degrade yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are now puppets of Lavos. Such a filthy place. Melchior, when the mountain fell, I knew I would find you here. But is it safe for you to leave the palace? Whether it is safe or not no longer matters. The ocean palace is complete. Then all is lost. Not at all. Without me, the mammoth machine is no more than a vessel. I will not activate that evil thing again. I've kept the skyway open. Please, you must stop my lady mother. Tiss, tiss, my dear. Uh-oh. Dalton! It would be quite an inconvenience if you failed to activate the machine. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the fossil speaks. Be silent. Ugh. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Cause any trouble and your life is... Well, I will bear no responsibilities. I'll, uh... Oh, seriously, he's gonna smack the kid, too? I mean, we knew he was evil, but... None of the Queen's brats know their place, do they? Oh, let's not be hasty. I'd be more than happy to take the life of the this little pearl. 
I do not fear the queen. Shall we be on our way, Shala dear? Your mother is waiting. Hmm. Old man okay? I am all right. But we must rescue Shala or there will be terrible consequences. There's no hope of rescuing her. Not even you, Melchior. If the Queen's plan come to fruition, there's no hope for life as we know it. You, you would go and stop her? My pardons. You risk your life for us time and time again, and I do not even know your names. Think not of it. We have a debt to repay for your repair of the Mazamun. Whatever you're talking about. Chrono, go now. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone of the Mammon machine. With it, you should be able to destroy the thing for good. Obtained the ruby knife. Hmm. Lady Shala abducted, but without magic we're helpless to save her. All right, anything else in here that we need to, uh... Oh, he's going to cry about poor Lady Shala. And yes, I do want to spend the night. Because I need to get everybody's hit points and magic points back up. And that goes to the cave, right? I wonder, what is down this way now? <laughs> That's it. A big old hole. Alright, so now... You can't... You can take the Skyway to pursue Dalton. Please hurry, for Lady Shallow's sake. Like as not, Dalton came here using the Skyway that Lady Shala opened. Oh. Come on, kid. Get out of the way. Alright, and... Where was the shop? No. Those were more people. Was this the shop? No. The old men in the mountain. Young Lord Janus made for the Skyway to save Lady Shala. Might it interest you in some goods? Alright. So, he's got the Vigilance Hat, which prevents status ailments. Now, we've got a Guardian Helm, which is better defense and reduces all physical damage. We've got a Mermaid Helm that reduces or halves water damage. And the Rainbow Helm which I stole a bunch of for no good reason, because it only halves light damage. So, you know what? I guess we're good on that. Um, nope. And then I guess the rest of the items are items. Okay. I'll have to go through in between streams and try to take care of some of the other stuff. Let's uh let's make our way to the skyway. Life is a skyway. Oh, sorry. Is our uh is our portal open? Oh good. Our time gate is now open. Good to know. We can also get into the machine if we need to. <coughs> Alright, in the interest of time and my Quickly depleting voice. I will get at least as far as uh, the main thing, but I want to see did anything change? City of Dreams, we seek enlightenment, yada yada. The sleeper must awaken or something. The 
Yeah, I don't think anybody over here has got anything new. I wonder what's within the Northern Shrine. No, oh, that's right. We found what was within the Northern Shrine. Um, welcome. Have you come to do business? Nope. Oh. Um, I need to sell some of the other stuff. All right. I am... I've got a platinum vest. That is, oh, that's enough for everybody but Chrono. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to sell the white vest. I'm going to sell the black vest. I'm going to sell the red vest. I'm going to keep the plate. And I'm going to sell the blue vest. I've only got one of each. And I'll have to see who would benefit best from the Platinum Vest. The Time Hat, that only prevents stop and slow, and it's a down. So we'll go ahead and sell that. The Platinum Helm. Oh, interesting. That's a down for everybody. So let's get rid of that. The Mermaid Helm is sadly a down for everybody. So we'll get rid of that. The Guardian Helm is an up. I just got to figure out who's deserving. And the Rainbow Helm is a down for everybody. So I'm going to sell all those. The Megaton Arm. Oh, is it down? Well, okay then. Oh, it's the Heavy Hand. <laughs> all right, the Radiant Blade is a down. The Smiter's Blade is what he has. So we'll sell those. The heavy hand is what he already has. Oh, okay. So, not a loss per se. A shield sphere is an item that reduces physical damage by a third. Speed capsule. Barrier sphere. I gotta remember that I have those. That Those would actually be handy in some of these battles. So would the lapis. Um, okay. So that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And she's got nothing but that sort of stuff. All right. So that didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. All right, let me get up to the palace, and then that's probably where I'll end up the episode. I think one of the shops opened up for us now, too. i got to double-check that. Because if you remember, there was a new who said he would sell things, but um, only with the Queen's permission or something along those lines. And I think this is when you can finally... Uh, buy what he's selling. Let's go ahead and start this. And see what's in the next special place. Uh, no, no. Yada yada, those lacking magic, earthbound, yada yada. You good, sir. That pennant you carry, is that Shala's pendant? Nope. Welcome. Ooh. Ooh. That is nice. I will take it. Just one, though. Heavy Hands, what he's already got. Smiter's Blade is what he's got. Platinum Vest, I've got one in stock. Although it looks like uh, one, two, three, four more would be good. What do they have for... Okay, so they got the Radiant Plate, which just has a defense of 64. Oh, and the Luminous Robes, which has a magic defense of 5. Um... But that's a defense of 63 overall. So that would bring it up to 71. That's probably worth it. So I'm going to need five total. I've got one, so that means I need four more. I'll get that equipped in a minute. The Platinum Helm, that's a no-go. 
That's everything else. All right, so I got a new sword for Chrono and some new armor. Let's equip that. Yes, please. That goes from attack of 90 to attack of 110, although it does one and a half damage to magical beings. Although I don't think the next few things are going to run into count as magical beings. So we'll take the straight up flat attack bonus. And he's got the Eon suit, which is already better than the Platinum Vest, so... Alright, um, and we're going to change from Radiant Plate to a Platinum Vest. And from Luminous Robes to a Platinum Vest, and Luminous Robes to a Platinum Vest, and Luminous Robes to a Platinum Vest, and Radiant Plate to a Platinum Vest. And now let's sell the stuff we don't need. So these luminous robes we wore for not very long. <laughs> we're going to sell for a little bit of a loss, but eh, it's only money. We, we still got a million and then some. Black, white, red, blue, and radiant. And we can sell the sword now. Yeah, I can definitely go back to uh, prehistory and start trading in all the feathers and things. All right, so that guy. Is that guy going to sell his tabs? I don't think he was going to be. Okay. So we've done everything we can do there. We got the last, the last little bit there. Oh, <sighs> oh bother. <laughs> How many times did I do this on the last trip? So, we're at Zeal Palace. I'm going to go ahead and save. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the credits. And thank you for joining along. And if you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, that's it for this week. So for everybody out there, if you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below to my Twitch and Mixer channels. I simulcast to both of them. And um, basically what I do on the live streams is it's me live streaming the recording of the next six episodes that go up on YouTube. So if you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. You'll get a chance to know the future. And uh, definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll, um, you'll, you'll get notified when as each episode goes live because I like to space them out throughout the week. And I do other stuff too. I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server and I've got stuff coming up from there. Right now it's a lot of live stream replays, not a lot of episodes because I'm also taking some guitar repair classes. And that's taking uh, a lot of the time that I would have normally used to record uh, episodes for that. And I may have some other stuff coming up at some point in the future too. What stuff? Well, I guess you'll just have to subscribe and see. So uh, with that, I will say have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.